Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to see how to process continuously coming data using the file connector in mil4. In the first part, uh, we are going to see how to rename and back up the data and in the next part two of this tutorial we are going to see how to write the continuously coming data to a database. So. I have any point cd open here so let me create a mil project and let's call it rename and backup click finish so i want the file module here just search it here and i want this operation on new or updated file so i have to give it the working directory uh, and where i want the file to to get moved where i want it to be backed up so i am going to generate uh, continuous data at regular frequencies at regular intervals and try to rename it and move it to a different folder so i have two folders here the data i am going to be dumping it to this folder and then milford should move it to back up to here okay so in the settings here let me specify the configuration and everything so first in under the basic settings let's specify our working directory our working directory is where i'm going to save the continuously coming data and we will try to save uh, csv data and also uh, images so we can we can uh, for example move data with specific pattern for example csv only or images only and so on uh, but for now for the first round let's just rename and move everything so um <clears throat> so i have this scheduling strategy I just want it to be fixed frequency. Let's do it uh, every five seconds. I want Milford to check if there is new file and to move it to my backup location. So this should be every five seconds. And I want it to be deleted from the original location and get moved to uh, my backup location. And I want to rename it. So let's for example give it the original name uh, plus renamed concatenated the both strings together so i have to change this to expression first then i can say uh, renamed and attributes dot file name so the original file name uh, we will prepend to it this word, keyword renamed and it will be moved to the new location okay so let's save this and uh, now let's also add a logger that shows to the that prints to the console the files that have been moved so add logger here and our message uh, the same thing changes this to an expression so that we can access the file name using the attributes dot file name so here we can say yeah attributes dot file name uh, i want to add move to it so this file has been moved so when a given file name is when a given file is moved from the original location to the backup location, then in the console I should see the some message that says this file name has been moved. Okay, so let's save this. And uh, now I have some Python code uh, that generates uh, data. This is the Python code. So let me show you sample data what it looks like so i will i will write csv data files 
and each, day, each, each csv data file will have 10 rows and these columns person id last name first name address and city these are just randomly generated uh, uh, this is randomly generated data so i'm using python to generate that so our main our main goal here is not just the python code it is about how we can rename and move a continuously coming data but if you want to try it and um, uh, if you are interested if you want to try the python code also i will i will add this to my uh, github repository and add it to the description section of this video so you can get it from there okay so we have this csv data so we are going to write not only csv data but also images so i have another python code that generates some data here and creates a plot okay now this application is deployed and let's start generating data let's go to this python code so it, so here if we go here it generates data as you can see it is generating every second now it has been moved to the backup location so see it generated because this data generation is every second whereas mule mule soft is backing it up every five seconds so that is why we see it it writes a couple of data files then it gets moved to the data backup so if you go here you see it has backed up uh, many data files already and uh, and if we come just open like for example one data file with notepad plus plus it is csv data it has the the same columns that we saw in the notebook in the data generation notebook and also there are images also that it is uh, writing to here uh, moving moving it from this location to the data backup location uh, in mulesoft also in the console we can see here it is telling us what it has moved the different file names here you see here this one this image file got moved csv file moved and so on so this is how we how we uh, we can uh, rename and uh, we can rename and back up uh, uh, data using the file connector yeah, and also the names we can check so this one uh, it is just the, the file name is uh, date time up to second i think whereas if you go in the backup it starts with renamed so if you can see renamed underscore then the original uh, file name uh, now let me stop this and we can also just back up only uh, the csv data or the images we can add some some pattern to it whatever pattern we want so let me first delete this data from the backup location and make sure there is no data in the in here also so uh, yeah first i have to stop my python code also which is still generating code data so restart this so okay let me make sure this is clean location so we don't have any data here the same thing in the backup location so now uh, let's make this rather than every second i think this is lots of data files so let's make it every three seconds and in here let's say we want to back up only um <clears throat> only uh, let's say images or csv files either of them so we can define a file pattern here let's say we want to back up only the csv files so if we just put here asterisk dot csv this asterisk represents any any anything any uh, any characters so what this means is just to move all the files whose extension is uh, csv or which are csv files okay so let's save this and run it 
okay it has been deployed so let me go to my python code and generate the csv data and the images as you can see in this data location we don't yet have any data files now if i run this uh, okay i'm sorry i have to run this code first load some some packages okay if i run this now uh, <clears throat> every every second an image and also csv data should be written to this location to the data to this location yeah so we see here two data files have been saved another two and it is going to move only the csv files to the backup location and so at the end of the day this folder will be filled with images only with plotters so if you go to milsoft maybe my extension i didn't put it appropriately this file what is its extension dot csv yeah why is it not moving it let's see dot csv yeah oh this should not be pass pattern it should be file pattern so dot csv should be here hmm okay i have to save it let me get back to it and save it so file pattern csv files so it is going to move on the csv files okay so it has moved all the csv files and if you go to that location the data location you see we have only image the plotters png files and all the csv files are being moved to that backup location so in this tutorial we generated data at regular intervals and using milsoft we renamed the data and moved it to a backup location and also we saw that we can specify the file name uh, pattern we can we can for example just process only csv data or uh plotters and so on and in our next uh tutorial which will be part two of this one we are going to see how we can write this continuously coming uh, data to a database